I do want to uh, talk a little bit about some of the previous comments that you've made about the Republican Party as it relates to race. That I think uh, I, I can't say that it, your comments were taken out of context. I would simply say that I would love to have a longer conversation about how effective the Republican Party has been on meeting some of the needs of the most vulnerable people in this country, specifically minorities, over the last several years. I have certainly play, played a role in making sure that some of the priorities that impacts our community uh, have been brought to the surface, to the top, and have been prioritized by the Republican Party. And just to name a few, and I'm going to get to the question that I have, uh, highest level of funding for HBCUs in the history of this country, permanent funding for the first time in the history of the country, the lowest unemployment rate ever recorded pre-pandemic in the history of the country for African Americans, Hispanics, Asians, 60-year uh, low for women as well, research on rare blood diseases to include sickle cell anemia, criminal justice reform that actually frankly made up for some of the challenges of Mr. Biden, President Biden's 1994 law, increases in labor force participation rate. I believe at 2016, the home ownership for African Americans was around 41%, today it's around 46%, and that's even after the dip of the pandemic. Uh, poverty at the lowest rate recorded since 1959, uh, aid to black farmers that I've worked on through heirs property, focusing on heirs property as a real issue, uh, coming from the South, I know and understand and appreciate the value of allowing African American farmers to use heirs' property in a way to uh, obtain a farm number so that they can participate uh, fully in the USDA. It's really important. And finally, opportunity zones that are having a positive, strong impact throughout this country. 